Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and September is upon us, and soon it will be fall, and the hot weather will be a memory for another year. And I quite like that. So what will I be reading in September? September is going to be an interesting month. I am taking a road trip um, beginning this weekend and will last all week. So I don't know how much I will get read during the first week of September. I will have my Kindle. I will have my audiobook. So I will get something done, but probably not as much as usual because I'll be on the road with my wife and her friend and we'll be visiting upstate New York and Niagara Falls and places like that. So we will have to see. Now the books that I plan to read. Um, starting off and moving through most of the, the month will be um, a Sumerian September. This is hosted by Michael K. Vaughn, and it is to get people to read the stories of Conan by Robert E. Howard. They're doing the whole Conan series. I have the first volume of a three volume set on my Kindle, and I'm committed to reading the first volume. If I really dig this first volume, I'll go on to um, the second and third volumes. But these are short stories. So the initial plan is to read a short story a day and then move on to another book. And we shall see how that goes. Another buddy read is with MJ reading this life. This is going to be American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. And um, this has morphed into an actual uh, group read. I, I don't know how many people are on there right now, but there, there, there are quite a few people who are, are going to be reading uh, American Psycho with MJ and me. Um, I originally tried to read this when it first came out in paperback. I didn't get very far. Um, there were lots of descriptions of people's clothing that were totally baffling to me because um, the author gives all these brand names of clothing that I have no idea whatsoever what they look like. And we shall see. Now, I'm holding up the paperback, but I actually have a... Uh, an audiobook version, and um, I'm mostly going to be um, going through the audiobook version. I will occasionally um, look back and, and see what's printed in the paperback. The next is another buddy read with MJ at her channel on Discord, and this will be Dune by Frank Herbert, possibly the greatest science fiction novel ever written. I have read this um, at least twice before, and this is going to be a reread for me. And um, now the Discord channel is going to be reading the books and eventually watching the movie. Now, I'm going to skip the movie part because I just don't have time for Hollywood movies. But I'm, I'm really eager to get back into Dune and um, see if it truly stands up to being the greatest science fiction novel ever written. Another buddy read, The World According to Garp by John Irving. I am doing this with Randy Ray, the literate Texan, and there are a few other people who might be interested in joining us for The World According to Garp. This is probably going to happen the second or third week of October. Now, this is, again, a, a reread for me. I, re, I read it first in 1994, so my memory is not very good on the details. I got a lot of the big plot points remembered, but we shall see. I remember really enjoying this book way back in 1994. And I'm also going to be participating in Straya September. This is the brainchild of gunpowder fiction and plot. And this is to encourage people to read books by Australians. Now, I have, of course, read you know, a dozen or more books by Australians, but I don't read a lot. It's this huge continent down under that I just mostly ignore. And that's too bad because they've got some good authors. Gunpowder Fiction and Plot has a list of um, 30 
Australian books that he recommends. Um, I looked over his list and while there were a few that piqued my interest, I'm going out on my own. I'm going to pick Picnic at Hanging Rock by Joan Lindsay. This is an historical novel set in 1900 Australia, and it is about the disappearance of schoolgirls. Um, this book was brought to my attention way back when I was living in Washington State, so 2021 by Juan and Plagued by Visions. Um, I believe he, he pegged this as a disturbing book. I don't remember the exact details, but when I watched his recommendation, I looked it up on Amazon, and lo and behold, it was $1.99 on Kindle, so I snagged it. And now, in 2023, I'm getting around to reading this book. Another book I'm going to be reading, and I have to read this one rather quickly, is Mayfly, or May Eve, by uh, C.J. Lead. This is a horror book. Um, I saw it recommended on someone's booktube channel, and um, I put it in my library list. And lo and behold, it came up as a being offered to me yesterday. Now, I only get 21 days on my library, so I have to read this book within 21 days. Um, this is um, described as a blood-soaked love letter to Los Angeles. That's really all I remember. But I'll be reading that one. Now, this one's like 230 pages, so I'll probably knock that out in a day or two. And lastly, or not like lastly, I have one more one after this. Um, we have The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is my in-person book club choice. This is a historical novel about World War II. Kristen Hanna is um, a very popular author right now, although I have never read a book by her. So this will be my first foray, foray into her writing. Um, I'm also probably going to swap out this book for an audio book and um, try to listen to it on my trip to New York. And lastly, I have a special project that I want to do. Yesterday, I did a tag video, and one of the questions was, um, how quickly do you read the books that you buy? And my comment was, it usually takes me a while to get around to reading the books that I buy. So I have made a vow that I am going to look at BookTubers' videos this month and pick out a book I want to read, buy it, and start reading it immediately, just to change things up because it's something I never do. Now, what book will I choose? I have no idea. I'll have to wait till the reviews come up. Now, logistically, I'm probably going to pick a shorter book, maybe a book that's available on Kindle Unlimited. I'm thinking of one booktuber in particular, who will come out with a couple of books that fit that bill. But something else may strike my fancy. And that's it. I still have a lot of wiggle room to put other books in this list. So I don't know what else I'll be reading. There'll be some surprises for me. Thank you for watching and keep on reading.